Okay, we got a little carried away. This is all hot glue. I said I do have a video of how I use my little lighter and I'll take my little tool. There's a video out there. I can't tell you what the name it is. It's just recent. It's not too far back from this one. I think I got carried away with making that airtight. That sealer I put in there, it's still flowing around. And it dries with air, so there must not be much air left in there. But there's holes in the top of here, as I showed earlier. These are holes. I got this all filled with glue. I will tape it. This, I'm not going to try to glue this. I'm just going to put a thing of tape on there. It's been a messy, grungy, dirty job. Get glue on your hands. and There's a little bit on the cable, that sealer. It's like a contact adhesive in a tube. I got a little piece of copper wire in here to kind of make like a strain relief. Some big name for it, I guess. When you got it like on a tool. So it kind of keeps that from flexing back and forth. Makes it kind of solid. But I'm sure that's going to be waterproof. I've got some glue here. Glue stick. Not the greatest, but it's got a gob of sealer in here. If we looked this long enough, we could see it moving. It's running around in there. But. I'm going to leave that in there so I can look at it. You got glue here and here. Let me use this to point. There's glue right here, and then there's where there isn't glue here. I don't know if that'll show up on camera. It kind of does. You see where the glue is there? The glue has been running all over in here, but as long as I can see in there, because I'll be looking at this to see if this has gotten corroded or water in there. So we're going to put a little bit of electrical tape around here where that seals. be nice to have an eye bolt with the nut on it. They're actually threaded kind, but I jammed that on there tight. I had this in the vise with this lid, and I really jammed that nut down on them threads. It's wood, wood screw threads with a regular nut, like a number 10 nut, whatever size it is. It's really jammed in there. I'm going to trust it. But... We're just making out of this junk, recycled stuff. We're not. We're trying to make this out of everything that's just laying around. I did get my wire pulled apart. I got 100 feet of this wire, so I'm only using about 50 feet. So I still got 150 feet of it because I ripped it in half, and that was work. I stood on the wire on the ground and put my leather gloves on and pulled on the other half to pull it apart. That is how tough it is to rip that wire into. I only had one mistake was right at the very start. I had to kind of trim it where the rubber was trying to rip away, but there's no bear being exposed. Maybe, for luck, I should put a little tape around there, but I don't see anything exposed. It kind of ripped in the rubber kind of jagged. As far as I can tell, this is called General Cable Company and something else. That's all I can tell you the name of this because I split it apart before I thought to read it. It is old. General Cable Company something. But there we go. That way when it's up here when I'm done, everybody knows what it looks like now. And the other end is just probably going to be a piece of plastic with a hole drilled in each end, wire to the flagpole, and this wire to it because you had to have an insulator. You don't want to hook it to the pole and ground it out. But this is a pretty good connection with a pill bottle. I had made one of these once with the SO239 connector. That's why I can back your CB radio. And I had it screwed in here. I had an eye hook coming out either side, if I could find it, to put a wire going either direction. And that was kind of a neat little setup because it was all enclosed in a pill bottle where it was all glued and sealed. So I could run a wire either direction. But there's different types of way to run long wire antennas. I'm just going to run one and feed it from the end. Somewhere in a book there's one called the N-Fed Zepp Antenna. And I'm sure it got the name from the Zeppelin, like the Hindenburg. I'm sure if you look in the history of radio and stuff, that's because it's called the N-Fed Zepp is how it was Z-E-P, capital Z, and fed. So similar. It, it fed the end of the wire, then it went out. Airplanes have a wire to the big planes. They have a wire stretched from the tail up to the piece. But there it is. 
I'll put some electrical tape around here. I didn't want to put on yet so we can still see inside of there. You'll still be able to look through the bottle. I don't think there's much air in there because this stuff is not cured. This has been two hours. This stuff will dry so fast. If I tip this up, it'll run down here. It's running down. I'm going to leave it set like this. Being this is sealed so good because I put a lot on it, I'm going to leave it set like this overnight so it all runs down in there. I think it will eventually harden. I suppose you could poke a hole in there to get it to cure, but I'm just going to leave it. I think it will cure after a while. But it's letting me know there's not much air inside of there. There's the fumes of the glue, and I did it so fast, I can see it moving. Don't want to make this video too long, but the other part I'll show once the antenna is up, I'll show how I have an insulator on the end, or I'll put a little short little clip of what the insulator looks like. I don't know what I'm make it out of yet. I'm looking for a, hunk, a rod of plastic or something. Don't use wood. Wood gets wet and wood becomes conductive. Use plastic or glass. So, so much for that. Okay, YouTube, this is the second part. We'll try to zoom on top of the step ladder. We used the flagpole rope to hoist that up. We made a ring out of the white piece of electrical wire and without no tension on it just laying on the ground we hoisted it up there we had to use the garden hoe to kind of scooch it up there but piece of plastic just off an old brush handle that way we know we're not I didn't want to use bare wire on the flagpole one inside away insulate that away from the ground as much as possible it could even be in a little bit longer piece of wire and moved it that way. But it's insulated from it. I just wrapped the wire around itself. Here, the actual antenna wire. I could have put some tape on there so it don't unravel. That stuff's pretty strong. Once you wrap it with steel, it's steel wire, it's tight. But you could put tape on it. He will pan across here over the tower. Then we'll give you a shot when I go up the tower and show you how I have it. Okay. Here we are coming across. I did color all that hot melt glue, colored it black. Just make it look better. Brought the feed line over and taped it. Keep it out of the way. I should have taped it separately instead of over top of the other, but that's no biggie. Because I don't want to have to disturb it if I want to move my antenna up and down. But there's where it took to the tower. I didn't put a whole lot of tension. It was actually moving the flimsy old flagpole. There you go. And we'll be checking this next spring to see if that's corroded in there. Then we'll have another shot of comparison. Just a piece of wire thrown in a rafter. I don't have my ground stay cooked up yet. We're still going to do a comparison on a signal. Just a simple 10 foot of wire or the hook to this wire. We'll pan over across the yard again. I figured it's up to be only about 48 feet. It's down low. doesn't have to be up near too high. Just the listening antenna. Okay, off to the little shortwave radio to see a difference in the signals. This is without the antenna hooked up. This is 10 feet of wire. You can hear it in there. I can put my hands there. Let's put the antenna coax now. Yeah, about 10 foot of wire run up in the rafters, so. I mean, you could hear it if you had to. If you was out in the middle of nowhere, it's on 5 megahertz. It's the second one up for the time signal. First one's 2.5. Run 5. Run five. We're on this band. And even just bringing it near it, it's going to be loud. Seven 
I mean, you can hear it without it, but it's quite the improvement. Cause this, I have more wire on this than you would have with the aerial that came with the radio. And sometime I may show that, but I said in the first video, do not ground the outer part of your coaxial cable. I don't have a ground. This radio doesn't need a ground. My other one has to have a ground to work properly. My little receiver kit, a 10 tech receiver. But you can ground it if you want to see. But I do not ground it. Because this is, all this is doing is shielding that signal from that wire to keep it inside of here to get it inside the building. You ground to a ground stake to the earth. I know people use to, you know, any radio, you're going to ground the outside. But. First, you're going to bring in a lot of other garbage, too, so it's nice to have an RF gain on a radio. But, that's that for this little project. It's simple to make antenna. You can do any variations. But just I figured I'd give everybody that's never done it just a basic idea. But I like the pill bottle idea where I can seal it in there and put that hook in. It made it really handy how I hooked it over to the tower. The other end... I, I wouldn't use wood for an insulator. It gets wet. Use some kind of plastic. That was a plastic off of I will show it. one of these brushes without the gray stuff. Just piece of plastic. No biggie. So thanks for watching.